Police are investigating multiple deadly shootings in the city after a very violent weekend. Two people are dead after shots were fired on Sterling Street yesterday morning, and police believe multiple shooters were involved. But police do have a suspect in another deadly shooting just down the road on Weathersfield Avenue. Police say Chan Williams Bay shot and killed a man in Hartford yesterday. It is his ninth arrest since 2019. Channel 3's Dylan Fearon is live from the Hartford Courthouse with everything we're learning about the investigation. Dylan. Yeah, Aaron, nine arrests in the last four years. In the other eight cases, Williams Bay quickly bonded out and was back on the streets of Hartford. Today, a judge set bond for the murder charge at $5 million. You knew this guy criminal criminal record. You know he shouldn't have been on the street. The bond should have been higher. Tonight, activists claim this accused killer should have been behind bars instead of on Hartford streets. The city's mayor admits there's an issue with our criminal justice system. The backlog goes back years, and what it means is that there are people who have killed people, there are people who have shot people, there are people who have tried to kill people who are still out on pretrial release. Wearing a zipped up hoodie and basketball shorts, Chan Williams Bay faces a judge. The 27 year old allegedly walked up to two people yesterday and shot them, killing 24 year old Jordan Phipps. But Williams Bay had been arrested eight times in three years, bonded out each time, and was back on the streets. He even paid $805,000 dollars in bonds in those cases. If you don't set a bond high enough, these guys can make the bonds and get out. They can get out and get back on the streets and they're going to kill somebody. What makes this even scarier, Williams Bay is accused of trying to shoot someone in 2021. He bonded out $250,000. That case hasn't gone to trial yet. Now he's accused of killing a second person. In court today, prosecutors were pushing for a $5 million bond to make sure he stays in custody. The state believes that the defendant clearly presents a danger to the community. Um, and, and frankly, um, nothing short of a very high bond would be appropriate. The judge granted it. These families are tired of burying their loved ones. People are tired. Of, can you go out on the streets in peace? People are tired of that. So $5 million bond tonight for the murder charge, but Mark and Aaron, the judge today, also added an extra $50,000 bond for each of the other eight pending cases. Williams Bay is in custody tonight. We're live in Hartford. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Dylan.